One, two, three, four, five. Oh boy, I don't think I have enough. Um, mercy me, Hobo. what are you doing? I'm counting my money. I don't think I have enough money to go to church this Sunday. What do you mean? How much does Penta cost? Penta what? Penta cost. How much does Penta cost? Hey, Mercy, did you find out how much Penta costs at church? No, I still don't know how much it costs. Wait a minute, you two. Penta cost is not something you can just buy. So you don't think... So you don't think we have enough, do you? You think we can't afford it. I have 2,000 yen. And I have 222 yen. So together we have four twos in a row. Two, 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 two. two. And that's a lot. Yeah, we have enough for Pentecost. <laughs> no, that's not what I mean. Pentecost is not something you can buy. Pentecost is when God gave us an incredible gift for free! So, it was free for us, but did it cost God something? Well, yes it did. It cost God his son. I know that God sent his son Jesus to die for us, and then he rose up to life again. And that was a great gift, but did God give us more than that? Remember last Sunday, how we talked about Jesus going into heaven to be with the Father? Yes, and the disciples were very sad to see him go. They were lonely without Jesus right there with them. Right, but he promised to send them a helper. Someone who would be with them always and fill them with love. But what does that have to do with Pentecost? <laughs> oh, perfect timing. I think our French friend, Pierre, can help. But I don't understand what he's saying half the time. He speaks a different language. You can't understand him. Well, the French can understand him. There are lots of French people in the world. But back to my question. What does that have to do with Pentecost? Pierre? Could you help us here for a minute, baby? Oui? Oh, bonjour, I don't want to In English, please, Pierre. What happened at Pentecost? Oh, but yes, of course. The disciples were together. It's one room, and Jesus gone to heaven. They were singing together and praying, and suddenly, mighty beam blows the room, and fire appeared above each other person's head. Oh, that's terrible. Did they call the fire department? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you see, among the sails, the Holy Spirit. Fills them with God's strength and the power to preach Jesus to all the world in many different languages. They are speaking in other languages? Oh, yes, that's right. And they suddenly have a preaching power to speak into many different languages, like French and Spanish and German and Chinese and Japanese. The people spoke all these different languages so they could understand them. How could they suddenly start speaking a different language like that? Ah, it was the power of the Holy Spirit. Why do you think God did that? Why did he give them the power to speak in other languages? I think God was showing the disciples that they were not alone. The Holy Spirit was sent to them to live inside of them and help others about Jesus. So even if we don't see Jesus walking around here on earth, we know that the Holy Spirit is right here with us. And God was showing them that they would soon be able to tell people all over the world in many different languages about Jesus Christ. And that has happened, now that there are Bibles in practically every language on earth. That's right. Did you know the Bible has been translated in over 2,000 languages? Wow. And it started with the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. It's like the birthday of the church. And on that day, the church got a present of God's presence. So, how much did Pentecost? Well, to us, it was a free gift from God. But for God, it cost him his son, Jesus, who died and rose again and then ascended into heaven. And now we have the Holy Spirit who lives in us to give us the power to tell others the good news. The good news is that Jesus 
is a lie. 